okay, so my so my view is Pakistan is probably the most dangerous country on the face of the earth. Be, well, and why? Because they're nuclear powered and it does nuclear capable, and it does not have a good control over the you know their whole situation. It's a very dangerous political situation. So that's a great concern, very great concern. That's a concern of you as an American. Of me as an American, yes. And I think other Americans are concerned to one degree or another. What do they think about Pakistan in general? When do you think the word Pakistan crosses your mind? What's the first thoughts, three thoughts that come to your mind? Yeah. I mean, well, one's me and thank you so much, but what about the other ones? Yeah, so I would say in general, Americans probably don't know too much about Pakistan. They think of it as uh, some brother of India. And so there must be something like India maybe must not be quite as advanced as India because we don't see we don't see many Pakistanis here. Now I have to say in my work experience over 40 years in Silicon Valley, I probably knew maybe three or four Pakistanis. Not that many Pakistanis wow. compared to how many Indians do I know? How many Indians did you know? Hundreds. Hundreds. <laughs> yeah. And Chinese. So so it's it's a minority in in a large sense in the United States. So we don't see Pakistan, so we don't have a good good view of that. And uh, the only thing we would know is a Muslim Muslim country, and so we know there's lots of Muslim problems in the world. So we're already wondering. The good news, we don't hear a lot from Pakistan as we could from some other places. But, right. but uh, that's a real serious concern, very serious concern. What should, what should in, as you're a marketing expert, what should Muslims do to improve their image in marketing uh, and reach out to how, what should they do in your act in your opinion well I, I think it's important that they understand the the nature of a of the Muslim religion as interpreted by the by people not as interpreted by a mullah that's interesting and maybe the question is we may hear some things from some mullah but what do the real people what do the people actually think which is obviously important the same thing the same thing would be true for us a church leader may say something, but that's not important. What's important is what do the people of the country think. And so that's really quite important. And how open they are. See, this is a big, okay, so this is a huge difference. The secular, I think, okay, that we live, as much as we protest in various ways, we live in a secular society. So people are trying to, to change that, but they're not going to be successful. And so the, the big question that we don't understand is how religion can dominate the whole society not just within a church, within the, the, how does this dominate and what does that mean? Because that's a foreign concept in the United States, a very foreign concept. So I, if you can help explain that, break that down, that would help Americans. What should the billion and a half Muslim people do to make the image better? What action can they take? I mean, I take my action, I try to reach out to people who don't know anything about it and say hi, you know? Yeah, well, you're the king of that, Rihan. We know that. So, I, I think that's really it. We've got to always, any people, you've got to understand the heart of people. And you see that, it's, it's great to see that across borders. I know Facebook really has made a lot of progress across Palestine and Israel, which you would think is an incredible conflict. But Facebook has found a lot of friendships across that. They have. And so... Not enough. Well can't solve all the problems. They can. But, but the point is, these friendships establish people relationships. And until people understand that they're in charge of this earth, that's when we're going we're to all be better off. So what action should they take? Make friends on Facebook? I mean, people say that's a ridiculous solution, but I don't think so. But No, it's not ridiculous. And to share their, your ideas, that's what's not done. I, I am a little more vocal. A lot of people, I would say, because of their job, and other reasons may hesitate to be vocal about what they really think. Uh, but I think it's uh, very helpful for us to actually express what it is you think and what's important. Like I've just been telling you, more than you wanted to know probably. No, no, I would. I <laughs> no, really, not you. I, okay. Yeah. No, this is in, important that people like you come out and say it, yes. and even on a video, because words sometimes don't really have the energy in them which the Something. video sure. voice has yeah you know the the aura is not there and across yeah and across culture it's harder to interpret yes. what did you write and what did that mean right yeah. so if more people would go out and make videos both sides i think it'll make a huge difference yeah i'm not a big video maker 
So well, you now caught, you are. you've caught me. Now you are. <laughs> <laughs> Three hands, wandering camera. So there's, there's no escaping. So action number one, they should make more friends overseas. You should, and and you have to position yourself to do that. You can't just randomly do this. I'd say looking like a mullah is not going to help you. <laughs> just saying. I yeah. mean, what can I say? When you see a, a, a looking like a mullah image, what comes to your mind? Or does it scare you? No, but it's just very foreign. It's just, it's just so. It's alien. It's an alien concept. You see. It's a very so. But what if somebody looked like a rabbi and messaged you? It's still, same thing. Same thing. It's like another culture, you know. I mean, we're more used to that, but it's still. Still foreign. Yeah, it's still very foreign. I mean, you know, we're speaking a very conservative type of look. Yeah. Because we are not a very traditional conservative society. Overall, we are not. We're a very open society. And that's probably a little hard to understand even for Pakistan, I would think. Yes, thank you.